All right, what's up, cigar guys? I'm here with Jared, myself, Alex, and Tyler, who is our DEI hire, as we've established today. Uh, for the we're, cigar guys. We're actually at a undisclosed location. What is this? I don't know. I like it. Unseen. Never seen before by anyone. It's brand new. I love it. Patriotic setup, I would say. How do you feel? It's your first day. It's second. I feel special, as always. Tyler is a very favored guest, I'm told, on our podcast slash media. Uh, a lot of people love him. A lot of people loved his first appearance on The Cigar Guys, which was an episode that I can't think of right now. I was actually talking to the uh, data analyst before this, and he's actually the fifth best-looking guy on the show, I think. That's, That's pretty good, good, considering there's five guys. But we're here. I'm smoking the base of Rothschild, which I believe you're smoking as well. Facts. And you're smoking... I'm actually smoking something I never actually smoked in my entire life, but I'm really glad to have it. It's a Placentia Reserva. 1898, it says. So, I mean, thank you. You've been... A uh, hundred years before I was born. Yeah, you've been passing this down. It's actually been in that new humidor that uh, we have in the actual other studio for how long now? I mean, a few hundred years. It's pretty impressive. 124 years. 125 years, to be precise. Good man. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I will say this. Tyler has been actively grinding on Marvel Snap. Is 100%. it? 100%. I don't know if you've played this game before, but it's incredibly addicting, which is why I deleted it. But unfortunately, Tyler convinced me to download it again. However, to be fair, I only played for two weeks and then stopped. You'll pick it back up soon. That's the unfortunate part. Never download this app, Jared. Never. I think the first time he told me about it, uh, I downloaded it. But his Did you really? His phone died. I, I just didn't really learn how much to play. You know, maybe I should go home and download it again. I believe you could. It's a very addicting app. It's a very uh, fun game to play. I want to notify the audience that this is a non-sponsored advertisement. Absolutely not sponsored, but it could be. In the future, maybe. But it is not sponsored at this point. But anyway, we're here after a uh, night out in the town at our local cigar bar. We decided we're going to come back here to this new location, as Jared said, hang out, talk about cigars, and maybe other things. But again, real quick, uh, if you haven't had the base of cigar, Rothschild, or any base of for that matter, go to basecigars.com, B E S A, cigars.com. Get one for yourself. I promise you, you will not regret it. Today actually was a very uh, big day for us on our website. A lot of orders have come through today. So, very thankful for you guys. Thank you also for supporting Zach in his time of need when his bumper was, um, you know, vandalized. It was a Serbian attack. It was actually a hate crime. It was a hate crime yeah. against Albanians. They broke his bumper, but he's got a new bumper now. Thank you for the donations that came in from Albanians and Americans across the world. Uh, we're very grateful for that. Everything's good now. Uh, if you do donate now, we will use that money to improve the podcast production, overall the Cigar Guys media production. So we thank you for the donations and future donations to come. But we're here to hang out, talk a bit. Yeah, and make sure uh, Zach is on your prayers. Uh, we have a GoFundMe for him. Um, emotionally hurt, not physically actually, just the car. Yeah. Um, I think it's replaced by as of today. We're all good so. now. But you never know when uh, our other vehicles might be injured, so support the cause. But of course, we're going to put all that money towards our podcast. I mean, considering it's been not even two years since you started the podcast, we've been upgrading quite a bit, and the podcast has been growing tremendously. The quality, the support has been fantastic, so we appreciate you guys for that. But enough of that, enough of us. We're going to get into uh, some topics, just kind of free free flow with this. Um, 
we're trying to do more. What do you, oh, I thought that was your ash for a second. Nope, I'm we're off. trying to do more candid content. Jared and I have been um, recording a lot of videos on the side before our podcast over four. Some other shows that we host, we're actually hosting two shows that are current event slash political related. The Rob Crocker Show and the Don Miller Show. Make sure you check those out. You'll notice the studio looks very similar. So we're very privileged to host these shows that have been successful in the past or are now becoming very successful. Um, it's a very great opportunity for us. So we're happy to host these people that are local to the North Orlando area. But again, enough of that. We're going to get into it right now. Um, we told you what we're smoking. Great cigars, especially the Besa. The Placencia, I mean, this cigar right here you can only get, as of now, in Europe. This is a European exclusive that they plan on bringing back to the United States. Or to the United States for the first time, I should say. So be on the lookout for that. That's, again, the Placencia Reserva 1898. Yep, 1898. So definitely check that out. Not big Placencia, guys, but credit where credit is due. It is a pretty good cigar. On the stronger side, you would say? You're familiar with more full-body cigars. I'd say as of now. Um, I did have you know a cigar before this, but I did clear my palate with some water to make sure I had an unbiased review. I'd say it's like, yeah, not as strong as the cigar I was smoking earlier, though. And you bring up a good point because someone did ask us on YouTube recently what a good way is to cleanse your palate. For me personally, coffee, mainly espresso, is the best way. Dark chocolate or soda water, those are three great ways to cleanse your palate if you want to experience a cigar to the fullest extent. I don't know if you guys partake in any of these methods, whether for cleansing your palate or just enjoyment. I know you're a big coffee guy. Absolutely. Iced coffee to be specific. 100%. The uh, bartenders at our local cigar bar do an excellent job. That is for sure. We are very uh, pampered. Very fortunate to have great bartenders that serve us the best coffee cocktails that you can imagine. I was drinking an old-fashioned earlier. Great old-fashioned. We're very pampered here in the North Orlando area. Better than in the heart of Orlando, I would say personally i believe it's because it's probably a little bit busier than this side of town so that we don't get that one to one interaction exclusively so you're saying it's better because we don't get one on one interaction one on one interaction no it's because we do they have more oh. time to cater to oh, us because it's less busy yeah yeah that's true yeah i mean even on a busy day, our bartenders serve us pretty well. They know us as regulars, so it's very common for us to get good service. Um, Half the time we walk in there, we don't even have to tell them what we need. That's they true. just bring it to us. That's, that's the best true. part. Anything to make it easier to have a good time is great with me. I don't know if you guys have done this yet, but have you had uh, an ashing contest? We did. So technically we've done it, I think once we've had the long ash contest. Mm. I will say too, Tyler is really good at having a long ash. If you go to at Basa Cigar on Instagram and you look for the long ash picks, a lot of them are his. He has mastered the art of maintaining a long cigar ash, which is crazy because no offense, but I would say you are the least experienced cigar guy. But That's at the fair. same time, you've mastered the art of having a long ash, which is crazy. That's why With they it, call me the ash master. They do call you the ash master. With this cigar in particular, the base of Rothschild, you'll get it down to I'm expecting pretty much. I'm expecting past the, uh, the label for sure. You can already tell. Yeah. That it's very even, burning well, consistency. And Tyler is one of those guys that is super supportive. He's a great friend. He sends us all his ash picks, A-S-H to be precise. 
Um, but <laughs> yeah, there's nothing better than a good ash pick from uh, one Tyler. of the boys. Exactly. Especially when it's like 3 a.m. in the morning. But yeah, Tyler has mastered the art of long ash. Yep. He has donated his pictures to us to use for Instagram, which we're very grateful for. Um, but two, it's a testament to the quality of the cigar. I mean, the base of the cigar is premium, high quality, construction is fantastic, and Tyler has proved that many times over, which is why we continue to donate cigars to him. Not only is he our friend, but he is a great representative of what Besa entails and what it Besa provides to the consumers, which is high quality, premium construction, and ultimately great flavor. I hope you would agree. Absolutely. The consistency is always on point, never a disappointment. And that is one thing we always get is the base of cigar is consistent every time, same flavor, same construction. There's never an issue, which we're very grateful for to have on the base of cigar line. And the Albanians out there, I hope you enjoy our representation of Albania through the cigar. But other than that, we're just going to talk about how our week has been this past month, maybe. We've been um, creating a lot of content on social media, a lot of podcasts. Obviously, the podcasts have stayed consistent since we started every week. Tyler has been fortunate to be in one, which I've been told was a great podcast. Tyler's a very humorous guy. Dry humor, but if you know, you know. Uh, a lot of references to my name is Jeff and other stuff. Appreciate that. This guy was like, oh, um, one of the guests we had on a podcast from San Parade, he was like, no one laughed at that joke. And I was like, I'm going to be honest with you. It was a great joke, but I think we're so used to it that it, w- it didn't phase us. But you did get credit for that joke he made. Uh, 22 Jump Street, I believe, is where it actually came from. Yeah, 100%. If I'm not mistaken. Channing Tatum. Yep. In fact, when he's in town again, you guys should actually have a cigar together. He's in town? I'm saying when he comes back in town. Oh, true. Sa- yeah, San Pere. So David from San Pere, who's now the CEO, great guy, uh, big fan of Tyler and Mark. He claimed we're the funniest cigar guys. I would disagree, but, you know, they're like second and third. But uh, Number one honorary cigar guy. L- yeah, let's say that. Definitely check out that episode. Fantastic cigars. I'm trying to get Tyler some. Ultra luxury cigars. I mean, San Pere was fantastic. Would you agree? Yeah. Fantastic cigars. All aged 10 years minimum. If they're not aged 10 years, you're not smoking them. Um, Ho Chi Master Blender helped create the cigar masterpiece. Honestly, a fantastic cigar. I would recommend to try. On the expensive side, but... Totally worth it. I mean, those were fantastic. Um, we get them locally at Cigars on the Ave, which is in Winter Park, Florida. Great cigar shop, which we have to take Tyler to. But we Tyler's a Corona regular. I mean, he's Corona all the way. Sometimes other cigar lounges, Cigars on the Ave, or excuse me, Historic Cigars, mm. Blend and Barrel. Yes. We have, we're, we're lucky to have... It's, pretty, it's a pretty like diverse selection. Um, yeah. You know, uh, historic. Uh, they actually just did the remodel, so it's really nice in the back there. Yeah. You know, so you have a little outside or inside lounge experience. Um, Corona, go-to favorite. There's like, what, five in Florida or six? Five, yeah. Five. Uh, I mean, all we're really missing, I think, is Miami. But I mean, they hit all the large cities. Anywhere you go, you feel welcome, comfortable. Good cocktails, uh, good selection of cigars. Yeah, you know. great selection of cigars. Corona is one of those places that has pretty much every cigar you can ever imagine from every brand, mainstream to boutique. Um, service is good. I mean, very knowledgeable people, cigar side and bar side. Great cocktails, as you said. And the selection of whiskey specifically is crazy. I don't know if I'm going to go into it, but um, didn't you two just win a contest there? That's true. That's true. That's one thing they have that no one else seems to really do. Yeah, I mean, considering they're so popular, 
a lot of the mainstream brands specifically will do events there and do giveaways. So Tyler was fortunate enough to win a grill. Basically. I believe they called it like a stove. A stove. A smokeless stove with real fire. Mm -hmm. So they recommend you put like wood chips in there. Yeah. And you can, you know, obviously grill steaks or whatever on there. Tyler won that. Same night, I won an ashtray and a couple other things. We got pen lighters. Cigar um, cutters. Cigar cutters, ashtrays. I mean, yeah, a ton, really and tons of cigars. A, a ton of cigars, <laughs> yeah, too. Absolutely. So, I mean, definitely, as we talked about in a recent episode, support your brick and mortar locations because you never know which brands will come in and support you at the same time by doing giveaways and events, special deals. I mean, the brick and mortar scene for cigars is great. Because obviously you can go in and physically see what cigars they have to offer. Sometimes join in on events that they have going on and take advantage of deals, giveaways. I mean, that's the best part about, one of the best parts about being in the cigar industry is having access to stuff that most other industries don't really give out freely, I would say. I mean, we're very fortunate enough to, Jared's won, how many giveaways have you won? I think... At least two or three by now. Three or four, maybe. I would say. Cubidors, ashtrays, cigars, of course. That was your first one that you've won, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I believe I participated in two. First one, usually it's by a dollar spent. So I was able to buy a box and got 14 tickets. I believe the sales were pretty pretty good for the oh, event. Good. I believe yeah. there is close to a couple hundred tickets in there. Yeah, for sure, which translates to thousands of dollars for them. Um, What's also interesting about these like uh, these drawings is they usually come with like a, uh, a rum or whiskey pairing, usually, sometimes tequila, uh, with a cigar that goes along with the event. Did you try the, uh, I think it was rum this time? I think. I did, but I can't recall the brand. No, yeah, I I'm not a big either. rum person, so. But yeah, there's always, I mean, especially if you go to a bigger shop that's got a name for themselves, they've got a tons of stuff going on. Um, the event was also hosted by the Licencia, the one that Jared's currently smoking. Which is a very popular brand. A lot of people love it. Um, they have a pretty big variety. Not my personal favorite, but they throw a great event. They're very popular in the community. People would argue to the death, uh, backing Placencia. I believe one of Jared's current favorite cigars is a Placencia. Maybe. Which one would that be? Can't remember. I'm awful with the names, but I do know that it has a red label on it. That actually might be the Red Meat Lover. Or the Oyora. Saka or the Aurora. True. Yeah. The one that you've uh, g given me a couple times. Yeah, the Aurora, I think. Yeah, so Aurora, great cigar brand. Red Meat Lover by Steve Saka. If you didn't have that one, fantastic cigar as well. We had him on the podcast. Aurora cigars we haven't had yet. It will come soon. But, I mean, I think that's one of the best things about the cigar industry is all these brands that you have access to not only are they high quality product but excuse me the people that you meet are super cool super chill down to earth very nice people even the placencia rep that we met mike i believe his name is great guy i mean we haven't had a bad experience i would say with reps that have come into our local shop. Absolutely not. No, I mean. What, what I love about meeting the reps is like, uh, they're basically doing essentially almost like their dream job because they get to work in the same industry that they love the most. And they're probably smoking one of their favorite brands or if not, at least in the industry of the favorite brands they love to smoke, you know? Yeah. I mean, kind of like us, we're in the cigar industry. We love what we do. We love what we smoke. I'm sure that when you work for a brand like Placencia, AJ Fernandez, uh, Dunbarton and Trust. You love what you do. 
And I mean, yeah, what Jared said, you're smoking your favorite cigars all the time. It's hard to beat that. You're basically getting paid to do what we do. And plus, you know, you're talking about cigars all day long. I mean, it's nice to hear other people's opinions instead of saying, I love your brand or, you know, you get to hear what other people like and kind of like open your palate up a little bit. That's true. I think the best thing about this industry is having the differentiation of opinions because I might not like the same exact things that Tyler likes or Jared likes, but at the same time, he gets to promote what he likes. I get to promote what I like, Tyler as well. And you get to decide what you enjoy based on our recommendations. I mean, Tyler, honorary cigar guy, but is very knowledgeable now at this point when it comes to cigars. I mean, when you're doing what you love, it's hard to not be knowledgeable about the topic, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair to say. Uh, I would say I don't know all the brands haven't smoked the widest variety that you guys have. For example, Alex and Jared and uh, Mark and Zach definitely have uh, a larger pool that they've expanded into. I more of a uh, stick to something that I find consistent and enjoy a good smoke I know I can trust. That's true. I think at the end of the day, too, as a cigar guys, we do have to widen the pool quite a bit, smoke a lot of different stuff to recommend or not recommend to you. But at the same time, I mean, me personally, and I know Jared, too, we like to stick to the best cigars for us. We smoke what we like. Jared was huge into Padron. Still is. I mean, everyone's into Padron. Even Tyler was smoking Padron for quite a bit. I regularly see him smoking Padron. So we stick to what we like, um, which I think most cigar smokers do because it's a safe bet. You don't want to have to venture out too much and be disappointed, which fortunately I think the market right now is so competitive that these brands have to push out great products because if they don't, it doesn't work out well for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now is a great time to enter the cigar market because so many brands are pushing out high quality cigars almost out of necessity because if they don't, they're going to get shoved to the back end and people aren't going to enjoy their cigars. So you have your mainstream brands like Padron, uh, Placencia, argumentatively, or um, I can't think of the name right now. Davidoff. Are you going high end, mid, low? They're they're low in price. I'm saying the list you're going from, pulling from. I mean, they're a very popular brand. Perdomo, excuse me, Perdomo, mainstream, price point, fantastic as far as mainstream brands go. Great quality cigars. Davidoff, I mean, they're still considered. Out of Bay by United. United Cigars is doing fantastic right now. Low, mid, and high tier from Ad, uh, from United Cigars. Adabe and Alfonso are their higher end ones. Always which, a good celebratory stick. Dude. Tyler bought me one for my engagement celebration. Fantastic cigar. Alfonso. I mean, they got great stuff. Absolutely great cigars. 